tensions between the U.S. and Iran are running even higher tonight after the Iranian shot down a U.S. drone. President Trump called it a very big mistake, but he also appeared to play down the incident. Foreign affairs correspondent Nick Schifrin begins our coverage. Today in Tehran, speaking to a stadium of supporters, the commander-in-chief of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps delivered a threat as state TV released video of what it said was the launch of a missile and strike of a U.S. drone. The downing of the American drone was a clear and precise message to America. And the message is this, an enemy that violates our borders will not return and will be destroyed. Today at the Pentagon, a spokesman introduced the head of U.S. Air Forces in the Middle East who, by phone, delivered a counter. This was an unprovoked attack on a U.S. surveillance asset that had not violated Iranian airspace at any time during its mission. Both sides agree Iran shot down an RQ-4A drone whose wingspan is wider than a 737's. The U.S. military says this video shows the drone's smoke trail. The he said, he said is over the drone's location. The U.S. military released this Google map showing what it said was the SAM or surface to air missile launch site and UAV or drone location over international waters. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif tweeted what appeared to be a hand drawn map and said the drone violated Iranian airspace and was shot down in Iranian territorial waters. I think probably Iran made a mistake. At the White House, during a meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, President Trump left open the possibility the strike was not ordered by Iran's senior leadership. I find it hard to believe it was intentional, if you want to know the truth. I think that it could have been somebody who was uh, loose and stupid that did it. But regardless of who exactly ordered the attacks, the U.S. accuses Iran of escalating its resistance. Last week, two tankers in the Gulf of Oman, and last month, four tankers in a nearby port were attacked by what U.S. officials say were Iranian mines. That came after the U.S. accelerated the deployment of an aircraft carrier and sent bombers and an additional 2,500 troops. And the U.S. continues to sanction all Iran oil exports, threatening its ability to pay its own bills. Today on Capitol Hill, after a quickly called closed-door briefing by the administration, senators split on how the U.S. should respond. Trump ally, South Carolina Republican Lindsey Graham. So here's what Iran needs to get ready for. Severe pain inside their country. And after an emergency meeting with top lawmakers at the White House, Senate Minority Leader, New York Democrat Chuck Schumer. The president may not intend to go to war here, but we're worried that he and the administration may bumble into a war. One of the best ways to avoid bumbling into war, a war that nobody wants, is to have a robust, open debate and for Congress to have a real say. President Trump today said he would balance campaign promises with a desire to respond. Look, I said I want to get out of these endless wars. I campaigned on that. I want to get out. But this is something, this is a new wrinkle. This is a new fly in the ointment, what happened shooting down the drone and uh, this country will not stand for it. And that means the tension will increase and the cycle of confrontation will continue. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Nick Schifrin. We'll discuss the implications of all of this right after the news summary.